she was upset. She was crying. She was scared. And then that familiar hand, the hand of her parent, reached out and touched her on the shoulder and held her hand and she started to calm down. What is it sometimes about a simple, gentle touch that is so important to who we are, so important to our fears and our concerns? Thank you for joining us as we spend time in Matthew's account of the life of Christ. This lesson, these series of lessons we're calling King of Kings is Matthew is pointing to Jesus as that king. And the story we're going to see today, or two stories we're going to see today, have to do with Jesus' compassion as a king. So let's turn to Matthew chapter 9, Matthew chapter 9, and let's begin at verse 18. Matthew 9, verse 18. While he was saying these things to him, to them, behold, a synagogue official came and was bowing down before him and said, My daughter has just died, but come and lay your hand on her and she will live. And Jesus got up and began to follow him, and so did his disciples. And behold, a woman who had been suffering from a hemorrhage for twelve years came up behind him and touched the fringe of his garment, for she was saying to herself, If I only touch his garment, I will be saved from this. But Jesus, turning and seeing her, said, Daughter, take courage, your faith has saved you. And once the, woman's, the woman was saved from her hemorrhage. And when Jesus came to the official's house and saw the flute players and the crowd making in noisy disorder, he was saying, Leave her, for the girl has not died but is asleep. And they began laughing at him. But when the crowd had been sent out, coming in, he took her by the hand, and the girl got up. And this news spread throughout the land. And as Jesus went on from there, two blind men followed him, crying out, Have mercy on the son of Davis, David. And when he entered the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? And they said to him, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes, saying, It shall be done to you according to your faith. And their eyes were opened, and Jesus sternly warned them, saying, See that no one knows about this. But they went out and spread the news about him throughout all that land. So in this reading, there were three different touches. The woman with the hemorrhage of blood reaches out and touches Jesus' garment. Jesus, when he gets to the synagogue official's home, reaches and touches, grabs the hand of, holds the hand of the girl who has died. And then when the blind men want to be healed, he touches them and they're healed. There's something about a touch. About 22 years ago, I put this down in words. In this world of trouble and crime, sin, death, hatred, and strife, we need a cure to last through time, one that will change our life. Satan's burdens heavy to bear, toilsome, binding, not light. We need a friend to show his care to move us from wrong to right. Such a cure came down from above, sent down only for us. He healed the weak. He showed his love. A simple touch of Jesus. Jesus, God through Jesus, has reached down and he is offering his touch to your life. Will you reach up and take his hand? Will you understand that he is Lord? Will you submit your life to him? Die to yourself. Be buried with him, touching his blood. And coming up, a life touched by his and live holding his hand. And that's the question about this simple touch of Jesus. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, I thank you so much for the blessings you give us. Father, I thank you that you have reached down and touched us. That you have given us the things that we need. The thing, the Christ, the Savior, the Messiah that we need. To have a relationship with you now and eternally. Father, thank you for that gift. Thank you for that grace. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining me as we spend time in God's Word. I do look forward to these lessons. I look forward to the study of Matthew. I hope you do as well. Until the next time we're together, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day.